Hey guys, my name is Rare Change. Welcome back to yet another retouching tutorial here on my YouTube channel. Lovely to see you. So today we will be talking about nails and how we can fix them. I know nails are possibly one of the biggest struggles uh, when it comes to retouching. It was certainly was for me when I started with the retouching. I spent hours and hours and hours on nails. But don't worry, the more you retouch, uh, the better it's going to be and the easier it's going to be and maybe you'll be able to perform even a miracles like this one <laughs> but don't worry I'm not going to overwhelm you today I'll actually show you very 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 simple ways that I use in my everyday workflow and honestly now the reaching nails is pleasurable for me I enjoy it and I don't spend more than a couple of minutes on the nails I mean unless I have some extreme case on the screen but yeah without further ado let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you on free example how you can quickly and effectively fix and retouch the nails. All the images I'll be working on today are unedited, so you'll see the raw image straight out of the camera and we'll be only concentrating on the nails. So let's we'll start with this image, you'll see the nails are main feature of the picture but the nails doesn't look as good as they could or should so what I want to do uh, let's just duplicate this just to make a habit out of it to always duplicate your background layer that's always a good idea but uh, let's just open up a new layer and this is going to be very very simple so first I just want to grab my spot healing brush here and I'm going to just clean around the nails because it's not only about the nails itself it's also about the surroundings so the little skin that is around the nails and all the stuff so we just want to clean it up a little bit this doesn't need much cleaning but then we want to kind of like fix this nail polish so what i want to do i'll just grab my clone stamp tool still on an empty layer make sure you have current and below selected otherwise it wouldn't work so with your clone stamp tool let's just grab small brush small size and just grab the edge and clone it a little bit this way perfect let's do the same here Just make sure you're selecting from the very edge. You're kind of just extending only what's there already. Okay. That looks pretty good. Let's extend over here as well. It's kind of just grabbing the edge of the nail and pushing it a couple of millimeters further so we can kind of just make sure the shape is really nice. Now if you uh, made some uneven spot like this one for example you can see it was replaced a little bit we can fix it very very easily let's just create a gray layer so we'll go up here to layer new and new layer mode will be soft light so we can turn on this fill with soft light neutral 50% gray let's hit ok and we will perform a little dodge and burn so we'll grab our brush tool so normal soft round brush we are on a 1% flow over here and with the white brush we are lightening and with the dark brush we are darkening so when I see this dark line that I made just seconds ago with the clone stamp I'll just go over it to make it disappear and when there is a light line I'll switch my brush to black and I'll make it darker just so we get rid of all any evidence that we actually did anything to the nails that looks pretty good let's see I'll put those in a group let's see the before and after before and after looks much better but we can still push it a little bit further just a tiny bit so let's create a new layer and press command option shift and e on our keyboards that will merge the visible layers so all the changes we did we can just go on one layer with pixels so we can go ahead and open up our liquify tool and we will just make sure the shape of the nail is cohesive on all the fingers 
we'll grab a forward warp tool. So that's the first tool over here. And just stretch it a little bit. We don't want to do much because if you are working with a small brush and you're stretching too much, then you are going to disturb the pixels and it's going to be quite visible. So let's just be very mindful about this. And just stretch just a tad here and here just to give those nails a little nicer shape don't destroy the actual finger shape we just want to work on the nails and that looks pretty good what's this little finger we can push it just a little bit more That's pretty good. Before and after, amazing. It's okay. Now let's bring this layer into this group so we can see whole before and after. And that was very quick and very easy, right? I mean, nothing too hard. We are done with this. Let's move on to another example. And here we have a very natural image of a beautiful model. And the nails are also very, very natural to the point where they are almost see-through. So I want to give them a little push and make them a little nicer, a little more um, defined, I can say. So again, let's just duplicate the background layer just to make a habit of it. Uh, create a new layer and we will just repeat the process so first always just clean around I always do this I always clean around because there is always something to clean and as I mentioned the little skin around the nails and anything on them uh, that's very important you know all the details will make the difference so let's just make sure they're all good okay that's that's enough and once again we'll create the gray layer so let's go again to layer new and new layer switch the mode from normal to soft light hit the 50% gray fill and hit ok and this time we'll be using our white brush and we will give the tips of the nails a little French manicure even though it doesn't really come from France <laughs> so we will just lighten the tips of the nails just a little bit be mindful how uh, far away you go with this I mean how deep into the nail just so you don't make the whole nail white and we don't actually want to make it white we only want to make it a little more pronounced you can say if there's any like patches or anything just make sure you fill them in so don't only go with one uh, big brush and just give it one stroke of paint and that's it. Really, really have a look where you need to fill and just slowly fill it in, make it a little nicer. All high-end retouching is all about small brushes, small movements and all the details. So do take your time if you're aiming for high-end results, obviously. But this is a very, very simple and easy way how you can do this. I mean, you could trace over them, you can make a selection, you can use other different tools. This is just my preferred way on how I like to deal with situations like this. Okay, let's see before and after. I mean, I think that looks much better now. If you want to make sure the body of the nail um, is set in color, we can create a new layer, switch the blending mode from normal to color, pick a color from the nail, some uh, very, very light pink here, and let's paint over the rest of the nail. So make sure you don't go on the white bits that we just painted white, only on this pink bits. Good, and now if you want to make it even better, you can now grab the skin tone and on the same layer with the same intensity of brush, so I'm on 1% flow, just paint a little bit around the skin, around the nail, that is usually a little bit red-ish, so I'm gonna just make it nice and even. Okay, let's bring all these layers into the group so we can see the results before and after.
that's all it takes, that's all the image needs to be just a little bit better. Moving on to another one, just so we make this tutorial very quick and straight to the point. <laughs> and here we have a very smile image of model Fabia, but uh, look at those nails. I mean, she is great and the nails are great. They're just grown out. And this is going to be a common thing you'll come across as you shoot beauty photography or as you are retouching and you're retouching beauty photography. But there is a very simple solution to this. You see those nails doesn't even need much of doing. They just need to be pushed back. So what we can do is actually just liquefy them and that's it. <laughs> And you thought this one's going to be the hardest, right? All right, so let's duplicate the layer once again and once again. And we'll be working on this copy too. And let's go open up our liquify tool here and we will just push them back. Starting with a small brush, but not too small. Now let's just push them back down so they look freshly done. Make sure you don't get the skin only get the nail and this is going to work magic for any simple color nails but if there is a pattern then that's a little different story but that will need to be a different tutorial because that's a little bit harder to do but you know still very doable don't worry and yeah let's see those nails grew back where they belong we are just pushing those pixels with our small brush in the liquify window. Alrighty, we can fix this little piece. Now uh, you can push them as much as you want, as far as you want, or you can just leave them as they are right now. You can take your time. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave them right now. Let's see the preview before and after. Look at that. 30 seconds magic. <laughs> love it. I love quick solutions. And now to make them a little better, once again, we'll be doing the gray layer. I mean, at this point, you are pretty much better off to make an action out of it. So I created my own action. It's the same layer we just used twice already, so I'm not going to be showing you again. Let's go and lighten those little darker rings that the liquify created. If you want to make it a little better, so we can just perform a little dodge and burn here, lighten the darker areas, maybe darken the lighter areas. But these nails are pretty good, they just needed a little push, literally. Perfect, let's switch to black, just make sure we are not getting any light spots too much. And that's it. Let's see, put these two into a group so we can see the results before and after. And we are done, friends. That's all I had for you today. It was hopefully helpful and very quick. If you want to see more retouching tutorials, not only about nails, but also about skin, eyes, lips, hair, and all sorts of other stuff, feel free to go browse through my YouTube channel. You will find a lot of, lot of retouching tutorials and other beauty photography related videos. So I hope you stick around, hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified when I post a new video. And if you enjoyed this one, please give it a like. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you here next time. Bye!